I see that yeah. you're a very curious skill, but like uh, your whole life you have been very curious. Like when you see FEM or like deep learning, you're, you want yeah. to know the fundamentals. Do you think yeah. that, Do you think that's something students are lacking maybe, especially nowadays in a fast changing world that they need to be curious to understand complex problems, but they don't, cannot really grasp the basic concepts. That's where they are saying math is hard, for example. Do you think that's the case? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, everybody does what's natural. There, there. I don't. I couldn't code anything. I mean, I'm just like that's that's a different different world. And other people would say, "Oh, sure, just code it up." Well, that would take me another lifetime. So everybody does what's sort of natural. And 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 and, and in this area, experiments and and uh, trying new ideas has been. Uh, the way to develop. Uh, I guess the same was true maybe for finite elements. People were inventing new elements and then kind of had a structure to to uh, put them all in. Uh, similarly with uh, deep learning, we, uh, well, of course, the big invention of convolu using convolutional nets, convolutional matrices. So those matrices are are the sort of uh, so much easier, so many fewer parameters, uh, and uh, so it's just sort of natural choices that had to happen. That convolutional nets would would be valuable, but but so many other great ideas have come, and I'm uh, I'm just impressed by them all. <laughs>